Hey YouTube, this is my new incubator. Um, holds a very steady temperature of 37 and a half. This is this is the temperature near the light globe, so don't take any notice of that. That's the temperature there, which is you can see that 37.4. So it sits around 37.4 and 37.5, um, and it's also got an automatic egg turner on it. Um, this is um, just a, um, what do they call it, a power switch, a, a, like a timer, that I got off eBay for six bucks. <coughs> and I've hardwired it here to this um, rotisserie motor. Um, you're better off going for one of those little... Um, motors on eBay they're about six dollars or six to ten dollars um, because I opened this up and it's the exact same motor anyway so um, this cost me 30 and the other motor was only six or ten bucks so and then I've got in here a gearbox from a windscreen wiper motor um, with the windscreen wipers it's got a um, an electric motor in it that makes that um, goes to the gearbox and makes the windscreen wipers go very fast but I've turned the gearbox around so that it makes it go much slower than what it what it should yeah so um, and it takes quite a while for it to do a turn it takes about 40 minutes to turn but because um, it only has to do half turns um, it takes 20 minutes and I've got it set up to do do it three times a day. Um, it holds about 300 eggs and it's just one of those foam boxes that you get from a produce store or something like that um, with a window in it. It's exactly the same as my other incubator that I've got on YouTube. That's the old one there. This just had a like a manual turning system which worked really well but I wanted something automatic so I didn't have to worry about remembering to turn and with the old one I sort of had a lot of wires going everywhere so um, with this one I've tried to hardwire as much stuff as I can so I'll show you now um, so I've put my 12 volt whoop, put my 12 volt um, adapter inside here just in there and just bolted it to the side I, I use um, I'll show you the side I use bolts and large washers so that it doesn't pull through the foam um, and it's got a fan a 12 volt fan which I've connected to a, a bit of um, gardening tube I think it's about 20 mil it goes from one end to the other so it's sucking all the air from the back so it's got a very steady temperature throughout the whole incubator instead of just most of it there's no cold spots anymore I've checked all the temperatures and it's this thing's working very well so I've, I um, hot glued a little plastic box together to make it airtight so it's only sucking from the back and then blowing around um, yeah, see, I've got my wire, my wiring's all as simple as possible. Now I only have one power cord coming out, instead of having all of those adapters and everything. So it's much easier to move around if I have to. Um, I was going to put a ceramic heat light, uh, heat globe in this, but um, it started to melt the sides, and so it's, I think it's too dangerous to have that. I did have all I did have all this um, tin foil set up so that it wouldn't melt or burn or anything, but it did anyway. So I think it's too risky. And um, in here I've got three trays of they can hold a hundred eggs. I haven't got a I've only got about a hundred and forty eggs in here at the moment, but it can hold about three hundred. Um, there's my temperature gauge just to just to check the, the um, temperature there 
it's getting a bit low now so um, but this here is just an alloy frame connected to these three trays so I'll, I'll take this out so you can see so each one of these trays holds about a hundred eggs just put that there and you can see there's two more underneath so it's got this um, alloy frame here and there's three of them so they I can't even show you um, and they're they're all connected to each other so they all move on the same angle so they moving all move the same way and then they're all bolted to the side with um, plenty of washers so they can move freely and then the um, gearbox comes through here from the um, windscreen wiper and just slowly goes around this way and just moves this up and down yeah so it all works very well very happy with it but uh, I haven't hatched any yet I, I'll be um, moving the eggs to the hatcher um, uh, tomorrow night so but um, each one of these trays is a week's worth of eggs so I'm going to be trying to get a hundred eggs um, every week and I think the total for this is around about 65 bucks but it could have been a lot cheaper if I didn't pay 30 for this thing but oh well but yeah it's fully automated now um, yeah just um, comment or or um, raid if you want to I'm always happy to hear of new ideas on how to make things better yeah. alright thanks very much